It's harder than you might think for celebrities to date. They have to decide if they're willing to date people outside of the spotlight or not. And if they are only looking to date fellow stars, the dating pool is only so big. And there's bound to be some overlap in the dating scene. That's why today on BTS, we're gonna be talking about the top 10 celebrities who dated the same people. What's up everyone, I'm Mackenzie, and let's get into this juicy, juicy video. Starting off with number 10, we have Selena Gomez and Taylor Swift to Taylor Lautner. So Selena and Taylor are best friends, and even though they have been friends for years, it's more than a little awkward to remember that they both dated Taylor Lautner at one point. Lautner and Swift only dated for a brief few months, with them meeting on the set of a movie they did together, where they were the love interests. But they dated and broke up in 2009. Then on to Selena. Lautner and Selena dated when they were both in Vancouver filming projects. But again, things didn't last long with this couple either. Selena blamed the paparazzi for their breakup, claiming, people were getting a little crazy about us, she told Seventeen. But even though they briefly dated the same guy, they are still very close friends. And they constantly support whatever the other one is doing, and we love to see it. In at number nine, Nikki Reed and Nina Dobrev both dated Ian Summerhalder. These two beautiful ladies both dated Ian Summerhalder. Ian first dated Dobrev, who met on the set of the show Vampire Diaries. They dated for three years before splitting in 2013. Then Ian and Nikki ended up meeting shortly after, but there were some tensions painted in the media between the two ladies, because people were pitting the friends against one another. Then Ian and Nikki ended up getting married in 2015, and have been happily married ever since. But when Reed ended up getting fed up with the media, she clapped back on the allegations that there was a feud between her and Dobrev. She posted a photo of the two ladies together, writing in the caption, So here's to putting an end to all those fake stories of on-set jealousy, betrayal, made-up friendships lost, and women hating women. And at number 8, Cameron Diaz and Kate Hudson both dated Alex Rodriguez and Justin Timberlake. So these ladies actually both dated these two men, so this one might be a bit confusing. But apparently there was a feud between the ladies because of all this. It all started in 2010 when Diaz and A-Rod started dating, who previously dated Hudson in 2009. But apparently sources said that Diaz was only dating A-Rod to get back at Hudson for dating her ex, Justin Timberlake. So yeah, this one is messy. And even though the women didn't like each other for a while, they looked like they had made up at the 2012 Oscars party, where they embraced each other warmly, Us Weekly reported. And it doesn't seem like it was BS either, because the ladies have been seen hanging out for years since, once in 2016 and another time last year. In at number 7, Gwyneth Paltrow and Jennifer Aniston to Brad Pitt. As we know with anything Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt, any relationships surrounding them are very messy. But here Gwyneth Paltrow was thrown into the mix too. Aniston and Pitt famously started dating in 1998, and then got engaged, then married in 2000, but then split in 2005, and people are still hoping for them to finally get back together, and although there has been some speculation, it has not happened yet. But before that, Paltrow previously dated Pitt from 1994 to 1997, and was even engaged to him in 1996, and although the fact that both women seriously dated him, they are still friendly with each other, and Aniston even attended Paltrow's engagement party to Brad Falchuk. In at number 6, Gigi Hadid and Taylor Swift to Joe Jonas. Gigi was a part of Taylor's coveted girl squad back in the day when that was a thing, and hopefully the fact that they share an ex didn't affect that. But I don't think so, because neither relationship was all that serious. Swift and Jonas dated for a few months, but he famously ended things on a 27 second phone call. Years later, Gigi and Joe dated for a few months before breaking up in November of 2015. Gigi and Taylor are seen out occasionally and still look to be pretty close. And considering Gigi now has a child with Zayn Malik, I'm sure Joe Jonas is the last thing on her mind. Plus, Joe is with Sophie Turner, so like, I, all parties worked out well. Halfway number five, Niall Horan and Ed Sheeran to Ellie Goulding. Now we have two men that both dated Ellie Goulding. And even though Ellie and Ed never officially confirmed that they dated, everyone is pretty sure that it happened, even more so after pictures were released from the 2013 VMAs showing them holding hands. But Ellie did admit to dating Niall Horan in 2013. And there was even a theory that Sheeran's song, Don't, was about Golding cheating on him with Horan. And if that's true, I can see now why she didn't want to admit to a relationship with Sheeran. But in the song, he forgives both people. So hopefully it's all good vibes. Sheeran and Horan were actually spotted partying together in Vegas in 2015, so it seems like they're at least friendly again. And at number four, Taylor Swift and Ellie Golding to Calvin Harris. 
It's funny that we talked about Taylor and Ellie both at separate times, but now we're gonna be talking about both of them dating Calvin Harris. And like with Ed Sheeran, it's unclear if Golding and Harris actually dated, but dating rumors circulated in 2013 and 2014 after they released the music video for the song, I Need Your Love. But believe it or not, there is definitely no bad blood there, because apparently Ellie introduced Calvin and Taylor in 2015, thinking that they were a good match. And Harris and Swift went on to date for months and even wrote a hit song together. And Ellie and Taylor seem to be good friends still, with Golding making an appearance in Swift's tour in 2016. And at number three, Selena Gomez and Hailey Baldwin to Justin Bieber. This one is messy, obviously. And I think this might be the only one on this list that actually has overlap between the women. Selena and Justin started their romance when they were just teens and everyone rooted for them. Rumors about them started in 2009, but they weren't official until 2011. Their on and off again relationship continued until 2018 when they split for good. And it was solidified when Bieber was seen hanging out with Haley in June of 2018, who he had dated before in between breakups with Selena. Then Selena wrote, Lose You To Love Me About Justin. And we got to see some of the pain she went through in their relationship and breakup. Then only a few months after that, it was announced that Haley and Justin would be getting married. And currently Selena is single and thriving, and the Beavers are enjoying married life, so hopefully it worked out for everyone. And at number two, Selena Gomez and Bella Hadid to The Weeknd. These ladies also both dated The Weeknd, and the Selena relationship was a little more than messy. It started when Bella Hadid and The Weeknd were first romantically linked at Coachella together in April 2015. But then they quickly started an on and off pattern that would not stop for years. And in 2016 is when they had their last split before The Weeknd would move on with Selena. And Selena and The Weeknd started romance rumors when they were spotted getting dinner. Then some photos came out of them kissing in an alley, and there was no question that they were an item. The pair was so serious that they even attended the Met Gala together. But late 2017, the 10 month relationship would end, and both people would get back with their exes, with Selena seen out with Justin Bieber right after, while well, The Weeknd was seen leaving Bella's NYC apartment. Then The Weeknd and Bella officially got back together, but months later, they split again. And at number one, Pete Davidson and Big Sean to Ariana Grande. The relationships of Ariana Grande are highly publicized and usually scrutinized, and there was no relationship more confusing than Ariana's relationship with Pete Davidson. Ariana first met Big Sean in 2012, but they didn't date until 2014, and their relationship definitely had some drama surrounding it, with people speculating that Sean had cheated on Naya Rivera with Ariana, which we learned later in Naya's memoir, most likely happened. But then they broke up eight months later. After dating some other people in between, Grande and Pete Davidson started dating after they met on SNL, and their whirlwind romance was faster and crazier than any other relationship at the time with the two getting engaged only a few months after dating. But the relationship fell apart soon after the passing of Mac Miller, who was Ariana's ex. But months later, Big Sean actually came back into the picture, with Ariana admitting in her song Thank You Next that Sean could still get it, so she's pretty clear about that. So that's all for the list today, but let me know your thoughts on these relationships below. Were there any people that you were shocked dated the same people? I actually forgot that both Gigi and Taylor dated Joe Jonas, and considering how bad the relationship ended with Taylor and Joe, I'm so shocked that Gigi ever dated him in the first place. But hey, I guess he can't help it sometimes. So Prep For It said, Kanye has never been original. Attention Skrillex if you love your fans, stop jumping on them. How could Lindsay Lohan sue Pitbull for a lyric that really happened? So much to dissect there, but <laughs> all your comments are extremely valid, especially the Pitbull one. Like, it really happened. I mean, she can't sue, but she can be a little butthurt, I guess. Then Jamal said, R. Kelly better be on this list. That man is the salt of the earth. He was actually, but not for the reason that you think. You know, I try to avoid the heavy stuff when I can. And also, salt of the earth is like a, is a compliment usually, so I think you mean the opposite of that. <laughs> then another user said, rip Alex Trebek. Love him. He's a Canadian legend. You know, we are Canadian here, so I gotta give props to the Canadian man when it is needed. And yes, he will be dearly, dearly missed. All right, everyone, that's all for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and wanna see more. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I'll catch you all in the next one.